we should also have a few negative examples. Um, this example is saying that this string has two A's, three B's, and one C. So it's not the case where there's as many A's as B's, nor the case where there's as many A's as C's. So let's see how these two things fail. So what happens is, first we read the two A's, and we're in Q1. We have two A's on the stack. If we go this way, what we do is we read two B's, but now we're at the point where my, our stack has just the sentinel there, and we need to read the third B. And we can't, because we can only read a B if we have an A on the stack, which we don't. So this is where we get stuck. Next, we go this way. So we read two, um, first we, we read the two A's, we move here, and then we read as many B's as we want, so let's do that. And eventually we get here, we have, we want to transition to C, um, we transition, we consume the first A, we still have two, uh, but now we are on Q5, our stack still has an A, it cannot transition to the final state. So it also is unable to get there, it gets stuck in Q5. And that's why the string is rejected. So now we thought of this as writing the PDA correctly. How would we do um, the union of two PDAs? The union of two PDAs still works very well, if you think about it. You would just give the PDA for the left hand side, give the PDA for the right hand side, and in initialize a, a starting state that just goes directly to either one through an epsilon transition without touching the stack. So how do we do that? You can pause and try it yourself, or you can just continue. So from PI to PF, that would be uh, reading as many A's as B's. And from RI to RF, I'm reading as many A's as C's. So this is one automaton and this is another automaton. And the OR is simply you add an initial state that jumps non-deterministically to either strand, but does not touch the stack. That's basically it. Thank you.